Have you ever seen a dream that eventually you notice it happening in reality? So you've dreamt something and then you've seen some. I've, I've seen this and I've seen this. I've seen this somewhere. That's it. Um, some people call it deja vu. As in like sleeping dreams. Yes, sleeping dreams. Um, they just manifestation of what you've been thinking all day. That's correct. I've yeah? seen it a lot actually. You've seen it a lot? Yeah. Who is Muhammad Qasim? So he's part of the Croatia, as he said. He's a Croatia, yeah. And uh, his dreams. I mean, you, you've seen Muhammad yeah. 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 yes, yeah. yes, yes. And, and the first and statement I made initially? Seek knowledge, isn't it? About that he is the Imam oh, al-Mahdi. Yeah. yeah. So the rightly guided one. Wait, wait, wait. wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Here we go. So wait, you're saying, <laughs> you're saying he, he, he is Imam, Imam al-Mahdi. He is Imam al-Mahdi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. My name is Nasser and I'm a supporter and a helper of Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. So I'm here in Watford today and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be asking the general public what they know about the Imam al Mahdi. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Ahlan wa sahlan to my studio. Alhamdulillah. So um, I'm here to talk to you guys about dreams. I just want to ask you a few questions. There is a brother who is living in Pakistan. And his name is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. Have you heard of this individual? No. So this man has been having dreams from a very young age and he's now 47 years old. And he's been having dreams where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has spoken to him over 500 times in his dreams. Wow. Exactly. Now think about this. This is, this is wild, right? Now we, we uh, what do you think about that just as a general thing? Um... Well, uh, how first, how he recognizes a Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam identified himself. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. yes. Right. Uh, I have a no explanation, actually. If uh, he's truthful. Yes. Uh, that's probably... This is the most his... beautiful thing I've heard today. Yeah. Okay. And have you ever had a dream, uh, a bad dream? Uh, yeah, multiple times. Okay. And have you ever had good dreams? Uh, yeah, multiple times. Okay, too. superb. So he's had good dreams and bad dreams. That's excellent. So, have you ever had a dream now? What have you later on seen that that's come true? Yes. So, how would you explain that? Uh, I would like to call it foreshadowing in a way. Okay, foreshadowing. Okay. Yeah, kind of like a message, like, "Oh, this may happen." There's a there's a word, but I can't think of it. It's deja vu. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, like that. <laughs> but actually with him, he's been having these dreams and those dreams have been coming true about end time stuff. You know, if you're truly one of God's children, he would, you know, inform you and about any danger. But not all the time. It might not be danger, just, you know, opportunity just to give you an eye to see ahead. Yeah, you know, what absolutely. I mean. So I would like to share some things about an individual who's been having dreams from a very young age. Right. He's a Pakistani man and his name is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. Who is Muhammad Qasim? So he's part of the Croatia, as he said. He's a Croatia, yeah. And uh, his dreams. Uh, I mean, you, you've seen Muhammad yeah. times. Yes, yes, time. yes. And, and the first statement I made initially? Seek knowledge, isn't it? About that he uh, is the Imam al Mahdi. Oh, yeah. 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 So. The the rightly guided one. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Here we go. So wait, you're saying, <laughs> he's saying he, he, he is Imam al Mahdi. He is Imam al Mahdi. I firstly don't think that the person you showed me, the Quraysh, is Imam al Mahdi. May I ask why? Just. You have I'm, to, in order to say no, you have to have reason, a man. valid reason, yeah. yes? I think I'm not that knowledge on the reasoning, but I know he'll come. I, I think what he's trying to say is when Imam al Mahdi comes, there's going to be various signs yeah. that okay. come before it, before it, and you know, as I mean, you said he's 47 years old, right? Yes. And I'm sure while he was, if, if it's Imam al Mahdi, there would have been various other major occurrences in the Islamic world that would have happened. Or, okay, such as such as can't name such can't as, name them. Okay, go on. Such as the earthquakes. Yeah. Okay. There's been no earthquakes. No, but there's been, there's been the, the, the major one. Is the bridge between the minor signs and the major signs? Fair enough. Is he? What? Yes, he's the bridge between the minor signs and the major signs because we have the sun rising from the west. We have the Yajuj Majud. We have the Jal. We have. Uh, Bismillah. Sorry. As I was saying, um, the Quran hasn't vanished yet. The writings. 
I that, say. This is a sign of the end of uh, time, this is a, end the, of yeah, time. and uh, we have to have a peace. We have to have an uh, an era of peace also, right? Seven year yeah. peace period. Well, there's yes? no peace period going on right now. No, there isn't. Wait. It, yes. So when the Emirate uh, really comes, uh, isn't it the the jar? When you yeah, be here, have yeah, a shoot, who, no? come, who comes first? Imam al Mahdi. Yes. yes. But then, but then surely the Jal would be coming then. Yeah. So what you're and saying is... And he'll come from Saudi, you know? Saudi, no? Well, surely I'm going to look into it. Exactly. Um, that's the first time I heard about someone. I think Islam is all about inquiry. Yes. We can't really force anyone. Okay. We always ask everyone to come and look into the Quran. What okay. you think about it. Yes. What's your heart? You know, think about it. So yes. yeah, I think it's quite a fair comment and I will look into it. I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us all guidance going well, forward. Well, you make my evening. Oh, that thank you a, very much. It was a, it was a very pleasure conversation. Thank you, so thank you very much. Have a nice Thanks. evening, my brother. Take Thanks. care. Bye. All the best.